Hello and welcome back again to another amazing episode. My name is Hayford. If you don't know who I am, I'm a content creator, a cinematographer, and this is the Diaspora Transition episode. Now, if you look at my left and my right, we have a special guest. If you've not seen them, that means you've never watched the videos. We did a separate interview with them and it was amazing yeah. with Alitas and Judah. Judah. So, before we start, I want them to really introduce themselves again for those of you watching for the first time who don't know who they are. So, who's going to go first? Go ahead. Alita? I'm going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Judah from Judah Exodus. Check out my page, mm. J U D A H dot Exodus X O D U S. Um, I'm Judah, and I'm here to talk to my brother and my sister about all of the wonderful deliciousness of Mama Africa. Yeah. We're here to talk about it. Yeah. We're in Ghana, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important for the diaspora to make the connection with the continent. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Okay. <laughs> Now, introduce yourself. I'm Alita Yasha Allah mm -hmm. um, from North Chicago. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Alita underscore Yasha Allah. It'll be below. Um, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alita Yasha Allah. Um, I make natural products. I help diasporas purchase land. And I do consultations for anyone that wants to pick my brain or that wants to, or that has interest in relocating to Ghana. So that's who I am. Okay, so that's beautiful. We had a separate interview, okay? Yeah. People commented a lot, yeah. okay? People agree with you, some didn't agree with you. But we are teaching and we are learning. Yeah. So today we want to address some, you know, comment section, what they said in the comment section below. Okay. Are you guys ready? You got some oh, of the comments? Yeah, I have. Okay. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you really have the comments? Yeah. Oh, okay, come with, on, with let's go. With the go. name of the person away. who let's even go. said it. So the first What's one the was, name of the person? Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm going to put it out there because <laughs> if you if you have the balls to comment down there, you should that's be right. able to that's handle, true. handle that's true. That's true. So it, it's by, is it Jibril Abdul Rahman? And then that was 10 days ago. He said, my brother, this is one of the best interviews you've ever, uh, I've ever seen. My sister is telling the truth, you know. But I, I enjoy listening so much, blah, 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 blah. But then he has something to say against um, diasporans who are moving back. And they're saying, oh, we, we can make it here, but we can't make it there. And it's like, if you don't change your mind there and you move here, whatever that happened there would happen here again. No. What do you have to say about that? I disagree personally yeah. because... Um, Although this is a third world country, it's more opportunity that's happening mm -hmm. here. And so if you went to America and you're from America as I am and you didn't succeed and you couldn't make it, it's because there's many, mm -hmm. um, many stones put in place to make sure that I don't reach that finish line. And even if I do, the finish line is then moved. Mm -hmm. Here in Ghana, it's not a lot of um, oppression. There's not a snare every single left and right turn that you make okay. to make sure that you don't succeed. So I'm actually doing better here than I was in America, America. because okay. of the opportunities and the freedom that I'm afforded. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. No, I mean, I totally agree. Okay. You know, um, I think what some may or may not understand is that here in Ghana uh, and other countries in Africa, um, you know, there isn't the presence of white supremacy mm -hmm. that we have to deal with over in America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and it's, it's really hard for, I think, hard for a lot of people that are from here to understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you actually experience and you live through uh, and deal with 400 years of captivity and never actually leaving the land of that captivity, the pressure that you're under is immense. Mm -hmm. It is a lot to deal with. And it actually gets passed down from generation to generation through the DNA, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so um, our people at home, you know, we have to deal with a lot of trauma that really hasn't been treated. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had any uh, psychological evaluations and uh, uh, so, so that we can uh, begin our healing. Mm -hmm. You know what we've been doing mm -hmm. to start to jump start the healing mm -hmm. is leaving. Right. Mm. To leave the land of your captivity mm -hmm. and then 
plant yourself over some in somewhere else. It don't have mm -hmm. to be here. Yeah. As long as you leave there, you can go to South America. You can right. go to the Caribbean. But you replant yourself somewhere else where you don't have the 800-pound gorilla of white supremacy all on your shoulders yeah. or wow. all on your neck. Right? Wow. That is amazing. See, knowledge, free knowledge, man. Yeah, free, you know. <laughs> and, you know, people think we are just oh, trying to be, you know. <laughs> now, you come, you said something about we don't own any lands in the U.S. And someone was like, listen, I'm black. I'm also Hebrew Israelite. And you are wrong. We have, my forefathers had lands, tobacco lands. And we, we have our own houses and everything. So what do you have to say to that person saying that? Um, congratulations. <laughs> good for I you. mean, good job. That's awesome. I mean, you were part of what? The 5%? Because um, in our community, where I'm come from, where Tully come from, that's not our story. No. That's not anybody within a, a thousand mile radius story. And so um, I'm very proud of you. I'm happy you was able to beat the odds. But I'm the first person in my family to break a generational curse by owning land and building a home from the ground up. And so um, that's that's awesome. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> to the job. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not impressed. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I'm impressed by somebody like you mm -hmm. coming from nothing and coming over here not knowing anybody mm -hmm. and then creating something. That's what impresses me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not impressed by nothing. Okay. Else. Right. Interesting. <laughs> now let's address another comment about critical thinking. I saw you guys in the comment section. We got time today, okay? <laughs> we got time today. Look, look, y'all see me look. Y'all be talking that stuff under her video. And then, you know, you know who, who who be coming under the that be me. That's me defending her. So you know. Yeah. You know, right. I, I, he I got see, my back. Okay. I see you in the comment section this time yeah. too. So they they are problems. like, listen. We, we are critical thinkers. We can survive on 500 cities for the whole month. And Judah said, no, yeah, bro. Yeah, Judah. Let Judah start. Okay. <laughs> no, bro. If you have 500 cities, if you are a critical thinker, you could be making more than 500 cities. Yeah. I want you to really educate them yeah. on what critical thinking actually means yeah. if that person who commented didn't understand. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I've seen a lot of not a lot, but mm. several videos where that topic kind of comes up. Right. Um, you know, I think that maybe some Ghanaians get offended sometimes when some people from the diaspora say stuff like, oh, you know, uh, more critical thinking mm -hmm. or more strategic uh, planning, which is really what we're saying, more strategic planning and action needs to happen here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what it really is, is because we've traveled the world and we've seen, you know, um, and lived in other countries and stuff like that. And then you move here, it's easy for us to see mm -hmm. where things can uh, be, be better. better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if I mention, oh, y'all can do this better. Mm -hmm. How you gonna get mad? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. How you gonna get mad if I say, oh, okay, you know, really this is a better way of doing x or this is a better way of doing y you know or you know what if you turn up right here for z <laughs> this will be the outcome of it you know um you can't get mad at that you know what i'm saying how are you going to grow mm -hmm. how do you grow how do you develop if you just you know take a stance of pride mm -hmm. and say oh how, how could they say that about yeah. us yeah. Right? <laughs> That's, you, you can't grow like that. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. we all are here on the planet Earth to grow and develop, mm -hmm. right? And so um, that particular comment that you're talking about, I believe that um, Alita said something about critical thinking. Mm -hmm. And that individual said, well, like you said, mm -hmm. um, how are we not critical thinkers? We're able to survive off 100, 500, 500 cities yeah. per month. And then I responded with, no, bro, mm -hmm. that's not critical thinking. Mm -hmm. Surviving off 500 CDs a month, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's just survival. survival. Yeah. yeah, survival. That's basic. Bare minimum. <laughs> Bare minimum. That's not critical thinking. Critical <laughs> thinking is really strategically putting in plans in place and then acting on these plans to 
have a better mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. You know, everybody in Ghana, oh, Ghana's hard, Ghana's hard. Hey, guess what? It don't have to be. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be because we can put our minds together and really critically think, mm. all mm. right, and come up with some solutions um, for some of the the, the, the troubles here mm. so that life isn't hard. You okay. know what I'm saying? So okay. it's not something where, you know, the diaspora is trying to insult anyone. Mm -hmm. We're not here to do that. We okay. love you guys. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we look at you guys as family. And so we're not trying to insult anybody, right. but I do see people taking yeah. it as an insult yeah. just because but you, it's not. Um, you want to, to like give somebody some cr constructive criticism. Right. Take constructive criticism, mm -hmm. take it with a grain of salt, have thicker skin, and then maybe we can fix some things around here. Yeah, so um, do, do you want to share something on that? Oh, you good? <laughs> um, well, basically, iron shopping iron. Right. And so there's no way for me to come to this country and help develop it if I'm not able to, like he said, mm -hmm. offer cr criticism, constructive <laughs> criticism. Um, but also, we're not here to come to this country and take over and say what we that we're better and all this type of stuff. It really just boils down to um, what makes sense. Okay. Like, okay. you know, and so basically we're here to connect with our long lost cousins, to be a better person and to help you be a better person. And it's inevitable that we grow this continent. So, yeah. So what, what do you think would be the best way to kind of, you know, work in hand in hand with each other without having to come off? Like I know too much yeah. than you. So you listen to me and everything that I know is right. And yours is wrong. How do you think, or what ways we can, you know, handle that, you know, without Ghanaians really conversation? Conversation, okay. you know, and, you know, coming to the table mm. with the mindset of, hey, we're about to have some conversation so that we're all on the same page okay. mm -hmm. is important. But not okay. only coming to the table, but also coming with a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Because if I come with the attitude of, yeah, how can you tell me anything? You mm -hmm. know, you don't live here, I live here. And we've been doing this this way for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. No, you know, this is 2022. You know what I'm saying? We have to open our minds and be like a sponge ready to receive um, knowledge from other people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just like a child. Um, although a child may live in your home and mm -hmm. they've been living in your home for 10 years, they still need nourishment mentally from their parents mm -hmm. and from other family members, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like she said, we, you know, we look at y'all like family members, like cousins. And so all it takes is just more conversation. Right. Tons right. of conversation. <laughs> That's how you get to know somebody, right? Exactly. When, you, when you're learning uh, or, or, or uh, interested in a, a, a man or a woman, mm -hmm. what do you do? Mm -hmm. You converse with each other mm -hmm. over and over and over and over again, and time goes by. Now I know you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. Now somebody can't come over to me and talk about you mm -hmm. and say something negative because okay. now I know him. Yeah, he personally. wouldn't do anything like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And so it's going to take time, it's going to take conversation, and it's going to take patience, it's going to take humility, right? So. Be humble. Yeah, so let's dive a little bit into the biblical aspect, right? Mm -hmm. Someone said, listen, this I want I don't want to get it twisted. Okay, this is exactly mm -hmm. what the person said. He said, She is confused indeed. This person is speaking to you. I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> she is confused indeed. The Bible is not an African story. We are not Hebrews. Mm -hmm. We are African people with our own factual story. Mm -hmm. The Bible is a black, it's a sorry, it's a book of fables and myth. It's time for us to wake up and love our sister's passion. Oh, sorry, it's, just, it's time for us to wake up. He said, he loved your passion and everything, but you are mistaken. I'm going to let her get you. <laughs> um, what do you have to say to that person who commented that? Um, she said one part in there mm. that's actually pretty true, um, mm -hmm. that this is, it's, it's not about a religion. This is right. our African right. history or mm -hmm. heritage or beginning or whatever. <clears throat> So yeah, we're, we're the original people. Mm -hmm. um, we're the person who built this whole world. And mm -hmm. so she's right about that part. But the book, when they first had the Bible printed, mm -hmm. 
it was our black character, black faces. Hmm. And so we know that it belonged to us. This is why they started to change the imagery, why they started to change like the description and things like that, even though you can clearly read what it is. Right. Um, and so I just feel like she's still on the path of discovering who she is entirely mm -hmm. because she she has part of it correct mm -hmm. um the part that she thinks i have wrong mm -hmm. is in fact another level of awakening okay and so it's fine we we will agree agree to disagree because mm -hmm. as the scriptures say he's going to bring us back to one land one language one understanding and so we just have to live this life as best we know how mm -hmm. with our understanding of knowledge mm -hmm. keep seeking him studying and he's going to bring back all of what's true what's false you know i'm not here to be like she's wrong i'm right i'm right she's wrong like this is what i believe and i respect what you believe and i just pray we both grow to a higher level of belief mm. interesting that's yeah. powerful <laughs> what do you have to say yeah so i mean you're absolutely correct <laughs> You're absolutely correct, um, you know, but I'm going to just break it down a little bit more. Mm. Um, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people on the West Coast of Africa, what they what what many does realize, but most don't know is that from Nigeria all the way over to Senegal, a land that used to be called well, the white, the white man called it Negro land, this land on the West Coast the people, most of the people here are actually Hebrews mm. that migrated from Northeast Africa, AKA Israel, Jerusalem. They migrated during 70 AD when Rome came and sacked Israel. Okay, over a million, these are facts. I want you to look it up. Okay, wow. this, what I'm telling you right now is mm -hmm. not even biblical. It is a scientific fact. <laughs> and then Rome, that Rome came down in 70 AD and sacked Israel. Over wow. a million black people, all right, fled Roman persecution over into Northern Africa, okay? And then they start to war with the native Africans to the point where they continued to move west and west and west, and then they settled on the west, all right? And once they settled on the west, they began to grow and okay. to develop into a wonderful uh, community of people. All right, and then that's when mm -hmm. the white man came over and they started to take, you know, the children of Israel. Uh, now, we were there for hundreds of years before mm -hmm. the white man even came mm -hmm. through, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so they began to take us and then spread us to the four corners of the earth. All right? So, just because maybe you didn't do as much study as you should have, mm -hmm. that don't mean that it's not true. Okay. Right? Wow. Right? Wow. So, uh, what do you have to say for those who... Study on. Who, who are saying that, listen, I, you think every black person is an African. I am not an African. I'm native. You know why? Guess mm, what? Mm. How many countries are mm. there in Africa? Mm. 55. That's over 50. Mm. Do you think everybody's the same? Mm. There's different bloodlines mm. all throughout these 50. There's so, tons of different mm. languages, tons of different bloodlines. Yeah. Everybody in Africa is not the same. Yeah. But let's send a message. Someone is in the USA yeah. right now. And he's saying, listen, I am not an African. This person is black. I'm not an African. I'm a native to USA. I'm American, like Native American. I didn't come from no Africa. I've been here for thousands, millions of years or whatever. What do you have to say to somebody like that? I mean, the first thing I would say is prove it. Okay. Because I can prove the opposite. Okay. I can prove through geology, mm -hmm. archeology, span mm -hmm. DNA, mm -hmm. Forensic evidence, mm -hmm. biblical history. Wow, <laughs> there's there's plenty of proof of who the so-called Negro in America is. Wow, right? You just gotta study. Wow, you know what I'm saying and a lot wow. of us, you know, we don't want to pick wow. up no book right. and break it down and, wow. and really find out who you are. You right. really want to just go with whatever the white man told you who you are, mm -hmm. and you just go with that for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, guess what? It's 2022, and that stuff is coming to an end, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are wrapping up, right? But someone <laughs> said, listen, you guys are preaching so much. Like, I love Africa. Let's go home. Ghana is beautiful. But as soon as something pop off, you guys will carry your passport um, and, and, <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Bro, we done already been through it all. Yeah. Bro, listen, man. Yeah. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Mm. Anybody that know that is war. Mm. Okay? 
That's what that is the murder capital of the planet Earth. Wow. There's no other place mm. on the planet Earth that has more murder mm. than where than my neighborhood. Wow. Okay? Wow. So trust me, if something pop off here, <laughs> I'll just be looking like, oh, okay. It's really about a, um, a mentality shift. Mm -hmm. So before you even get to the point of being here long term, mm -hmm. you have already made up in your mind, this is where you want to be. And so once you have mentally detoxed, mm -hmm. Um, it's not really nothing that can happen that can send you packing because it's just life. It, it's not like yeah. you're going to go back to America and be like, okay, everything is perfect now. I'm glad <laughs> I came back. Like, no, wherever wow. you go, if you choose to move from Ghana to Tanzania, from Tanzania to Gambia, like you're, it's something going to pop up. It's just a matter of being disciplined. It's a matter of being consistent and a matter of making up your mind that this is where you want to be. And then you deal with the BS, just like with a companion or a partner it's like you just have to like mentally decide i'm gonna deal with your mess mm. like i'm we're gonna figure this out together you know because yeah. i'm gonna deal with somebody mess okay. so i'm just deciding that me and you gonna figure this out together and so it's no it's no different than that or whatever you're gonna have issues but if you're just gonna run from them it'll come back up somewhere else so you might as well deal with it i like know? that i like that so listen a message to the people who are saying that listen don't jump into conclusion and say Ghana is home. I'm not going back to the USA. This is for you. I, yeah, I ain't the person back. is a Ghanaian. He said, listen, I'm in America right now. And I'm telling you, don't say I'm not coming back to the USA. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know my country. Yeah. What do you have to say to that person? I say, you just worry about you. Mm. I'm going to worry about me. Okay. And I ain't coming back, okay? <laughs> yes, I will. If I can help it, mm -hmm. I don't have a reason to even visit. And okay. So I'm not coming back. That doesn't mean I'm not going to travel. Okay. That yeah. means I got I got 54 other countries okay. on this continent to visit. Okay. It just means I'm not going to that particular country. Okay. Like, that's all. Okay. It's okay. I okay. can choose to not want to visit America mm -hmm. like them. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, we, you know, we don't... Um, a lot of us that have had the opportunity to have our, have our eyes open, mm -hmm. uh, we don't see America like you may see America. Not at all. Mm. You may see America like, oh my God, right. <laughs> it's the end all to be all. This is like, all the dream. It's wonderful and it's great. We already lived it. Mm -hmm. For you, it might be a dream, but for a lot of us, it's a nightmare. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's wow. Nightmare. nightmare. Yeah. So what the? And we wow. woke now. Like going back. Wow. Going back there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Wow. Nah, bro. Wow. Yeah, you we know, woke we now. See it differently. Wow. So yeah. you say Ghana is beautiful and peaceful, yeah. and it's a place to be. Look at this. <laughs> My kingdom come. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look how wonderful it is. It is, what, what is this, August, mm. it's nice and breezy. It's probably like 80 degrees. Yeah. You know, right by the water, palm right. trees oh, all around oh, us. Wow. Let's send one more good. message. They didn't get a message the last time we sent them. They didn't get it. Let's send them again, okay? <laughs> Ghana is beautiful. That's right. They are watching from Chicago, New York. They are contemplating. Should I go? Okay, I'm scared. Send message to the diasporans watching right now. Send them. You're all, you scared. Can, all you can do is get your plane ticket. Mm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. Mm. You know, it's really, it's really not that we can say to convince you. Mm. Um, but, but to, at this point, you have to put action in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we live in a digital age where there's a lot of information out there. Information is going forth faster than it ever have mm -hmm. have been on Earth. Mm -hmm. And so, there's a ton of research that you can do on different countries. More specifically, like he said, Ghana, mm -hmm. you can do your research mm -hmm. and you can see the history of this land even before it was called Ghana. Ghana, yeah. exactly. You can do your history and you can find out if this is for you. Yeah. The best way to find out is book you a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. It don't cost that much. Everybody in America, y'all be talking, oh, it's so expensive and all that. No, it's not. It's not expensive because I, I guarantee you'll pay damn near $2,000 for a brand new iPhone. Oh, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> but you can get a plane ticket. Get your, get your plane ticket, bro. Get your mind right. Okay. But if you got more questions, you know, you can hit me up for mm -hmm. a Ghana consultation mm -hmm. so that I can ease your mind a little bit more by mm -hmm. sharing my experience, mm -hmm. sharing my knowledge, and 
providing you with an extensive database of resources so that when you come here, mm -hmm. you not only have transportation and housing, but I can tell you where the food is, I can help you with land, and I can help you with developing. Okay. So you really don't got no excuses. You're just yeah. choosing to sit still. Yeah. And I uh, saw someone much, disturbing you in the comment section. Hmm? How much is your consultation? <laughs> it's $50. That's oh. it. Cash app, Alita, what is, yeah. 4K. Someone is disturbing yeah. your comment. I don't know if you want to give me any publicity, but we, we'll talk about it behind the scenes. Oh, what? There's a guy who's saying, hey, you're welcome to Ghana. <laughs> Send me an email here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who are you? What's I don't even know you? who that person is. You keep is. commenting <laughs> under everything. We're not going to send you money because we don't know you. It might be fraud. I've been it vetted. Be I have <laughs> referrals, okay? So the guy so, that's commenting. The reason why I, I, I bring me. people like this on the show is to make sure you make good decision and you don't fall in the hands of any yeah, fraud. Yeah, you're not scammed. You know? So if you want to, you know, get rid of your fears, she is the right person to yeah. speak to. Mm -hmm. And trust me, after one hour video call, you sort it. You get your flight ticket and come together. Yeah. So let's talk about what we're doing on the continent and if people want to patronize. You said yours already. Uh, are you doing anything that you can share to the people out there? No. No? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he is. Jerk toe. <laughs> you come to the continent, make sure y'all go to his restaurant. It's at the top of a Yara for Mall in a Yara for Ghana. Okay. Are you sure you want to put that in there? Jerk so Yeah, we sure. Okay. All right. So good food, Jamaican food. Yeah. When you are in Ghana, link up. The best food ever. So thank you so much for watching. If you have a last message for the people out there, what would that message be? Um, just do it. It's mm. nothing to it but to do it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> and then peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. Cat. -bye. Bye. Mm.